Hello, in this video uh, I'm going to go over subqueries. Now subqueries are a type of SQL statement and they are essentially select statements that are nested within another SQL statement. Um, as you can see in the image below, the highlighted uh, part of that is the subquery itself. And as you can see, it's part of a main query. So the purpose of a subquery um, essentially is to, um, the term is further restrict the uh, data. Essentially, what you're trying to do is you're being more specific um, than you're requiring a higher level of specificity as um, compared to if you were just using a simple where statement. So as you can see in the second point, it's more flexible than a where state or than a where statement. Um, yet it's more complex to implement. And a big thing um, over the where statement is that it can reference another table in the database, um, which is a, a which is a different one to the one in the main query. Uh, and subqueries are very flexible, so they can be used with select, insert, update, and delete statements, as, as long as all the other uh, logical operators and such. So if we go back, that select statement uh, there, that first select, uh, could be an update, could be a delete. So um, the structure of a subquery, so the um, the green there shows the uh, main query and if you were using a where statement you would do select first name comma second name from parent info where and then parent ID equals and then a then an actual uh, value so four for example whilst um, in a subquery you actually um, put the uh, well, in a in a in a SQL query containing a subquery, you put the subquery after the equals sign, and a sub subquery is denoted by parentheses surrounding it, and the whole thing is referred to as an SQL query, with the first bit being the main query, the um, overall thing we're looking for. So in this particular uh, query, we're getting the first name and second name of the parent who is who whose child um, has the or student I should say has the uh, second name of Smith so how a subquery actually works now this is a bit um, technical here um, so you may want to skip past this, but a subquery subqueries are executed prior to execution of their main queries. So that um, select parent ID from student info where student name equals Smith will will be executed first, and then that resulting data set uh, result set generated um, is then used by the main query. And that will then select the um, the parent, the return parent ID in this case um, into the main query. So then it can carry out select first name, comma second name from parent info where parent ID equals, and then the result from that subquery. So the result set generated by subquery is discarded after its containing main query has finished exec execution. Thus, a subquery can be thought of as a temporary table with statement scope. So, in this in this example here, the select parent ID from student info where student name equals Smith, the subquery, will only return well in my um will will return all of the parent IDs, no all of the parent IDs which are tied to the student info which are in the um the student record um of the students with the second name smith so that could be um one result that could be uh many results um so that's that's what it, what it means by a temporary table it could be a lot of 
It could be simply one result, in which case the table will be just one uh, one uh, row, or it could be many. Um, with a statement scope, just refers to the fact that the the that table that I just talked about the result set um, is discarded at the end, so no other uh, query can use it. So uh, you'd have to then um, re-execute the um, the uh, You'd have to make another uh, query, subquery with the same, another another SQL query with the same subquery, because the uh, the uh, result set only has statement scope, so it can't be used by other things essentially. Yeah. So, and just at one last point um, regarding subqueries, um, the it may not be necessary. Um, for you to use a subquery in some situations, in situations where you don't need um, that high level of specificity, um, simply use a where statement where, um, simply do where second name equal, where um, parent ID equals, and then if you know the parent ID already, then that's fine, but um, you don't need to, the point is you don't need to, um, feel like you need to use a subquery every single um, time you want to make an SQL query. It only it, You should only use it whenever uh, the need arises. So now that I've shown you the um, theory behind a subquery, we'll go on to now implement it. Okay, so I'll now show you some implementations and examples of subqueries. So I've made a um, database uh, here called school database and it contains three tables so I'll show you quickly the what each table contains so this student info table contains student ID the first name the second name teacher ID and parent ID of the students um, the teacher info um, contains the teacher ID first name second name department and salary of the uh, teachers and the parent info table simply contains the parent ID, first name, and second name of the parents. So, as you can see, um, one teacher teaches many uh, students, and one parent can have many students. So, that's the um, database scenario. So, the first... Um, example I want to do is a um, example in which um, the subquery is only looking at one table. So the question is write a, qu a query to display the name first and last for teachers who get more salary than teacher whose ID is four. So that question refers to this table so, looking at the table, um, teacher ID 4 is w Winston Brook, and he earns 250. So, we want to output the names of the teachers who get more, who are paid more than 250. So, that will be um, Roberta Phelps and Aston Keys, because they earn 500 and 300 salary. Uh, and so that's higher than 250. So to do this, to do a subquery, um, I like to start at um, what we're at, start at the beginning, write the main query first. So we're looking for the first and last name of the teachers who get more salary than, than a teacher. So we need the first and last names of the teachers. So we do select, first name comma second name from teacher info where so we've got our basic uh, main query here so this question is referring to salary so we want the we want to compare the salary to that of um, teacher ID 4. Now 
of course you could try and do like a comparison like um salary greater than uh 250 but that's that um that would work however um with regards to this uh tutorial um this is um a basic um a um basic example so um and in some situations you can't um feasibly do a hard coded uh query like that um yes you know that um uh, teacher id um when winston brook is earning 250 currently but maybe he gets a pay rise and it increases to 350 so you can't have hard coded um queries like that for uh fields which uh could potentially change that's why that's an that's an aspect of um sub queries to bear in mind is that it allows for that extra flexibility so anyway so we were going to do um salary so we still need salary here and the question again is write a query to display the name first and last for teachers who get more salary than the teacher whose ID is four. So where salary, and since we're looking for who get more, so it's gonna be a greater than some sign there, then we're gonna do open bracket because the subquery starts with a uh, open bracket or parenthesis. Um, we do select salary so the right now this subquery is going to be getting us the um, salary of teacher ID 4 so we can then compare it to the rest of the uh, teachers in the table so select salary from teacher info where teacher ID equals 4 Okay, so and ensure you've got your um, closing bracket there. Um, so we th we know that the correct result is Roberta Phillips and Aston Keys as our um, two uh, teachers who earn more than uh, teacher ID four. So we'll run that now, and as you can see, Roberta Phillips and Aston Keys has. Um, has appeared has been outputted so that was a subquery just referring to one table we're now going to move on and uh, do a query where we're looking at two different tables so the second question is write a query to display the name first and last of all students who have a parent named Susan Smith so if we have a look at the parent info, we can see that Susan Smith's uh, parent ID is free. So if we look at the student info table, only one student has a um, parent ID of free, and that's Eva Smith. So the correct uh, answer is Eva Smith. So we're going to write a um, SQL statement to uh, get that info. So select first name, comma, second name from student info where. So since the question said, write a query to display the name first and last of all students, that's going to be our main query here. Okay. So um once we've got our main query done um we can now move on to the actual subquery so we need the um parent id of um susan smith so because this table is a uh one to many this the relation is one to many so we need parent id so where parent id equals and then we can simply do select from parent id from parent info where first name 
equals oh, wait equals uh, Susan and second name equals Smith. Oh, didn't close the speech marks there. Okay, so I'll just uh, bring that subquery down there so it's all on one um, line. Uh, okay, so there's our subquery there. Um, and if you note the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the where statement and then the parent ID equals, this select statement has to have the the thing you're equaling to because the result set returned with this is then going to be looked through by this main, main query here. So if you've not got anything related to parent ID or whatever you're looking for, then there won't be there won't be any result because none of the rows match. But that's just simple uh, logic there. So when we run this, we should get um, Eva, Eva Smith because um, we're pointing at the student info table, first name and second name, and her parent is Susan Smith. So if we run that there, we can see Eva Smith is um, uh, outputted. And yeah, so that's an example of um, the subquery uh, pointing uh, to two different tables, as I mentioned previously. Um, we're going to do another um, example here. But this time we're going to um, go, we're going to look at a subquery which returns more than one um, result in its uh, result set. So in the previous two examples, um, since we were only dealing with uh, one person um, in the one result in the um, subquery, um, uh, we can simply do where parent ID equals and then that uh, value because it's only be going to be one value there. However, um, that the syntax changes slightly for a um, subquery returning more than one uh, row. So, write a query to display the names first and last of all parents who have children with the second name Adair. So, let's see. So if we look in the students table, we can see that there are two students with the second name Adair. So if we look at the parent info here, um, their parent IDs are both two, which makes sense because um, the, 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 there's only one uh, parent with the uh, last name Adair here, Olivia Adair. So the output will just be uh, Olivia Adair there. So the syntax changes slightly because um, instead of doing equals we have to use a new keyword called in. So I'll show you that when we get to it now. So the first bit, easy enough, select first name comma second name from parent info where now um, this bit is um, slightly different so where parent ID and then the word in okay so in means that keyword in means that um, since there's going to be two rows in the result set because there are two there are two students um, uh, Peter and uh, Angus Adair um, the the um, result sets gonna result sets gonna need to be iterated through that's why we have to use in um, so where parent ID in and then select parent ID from student info where 
second name equals open bracket Adair. Okay, so I'll just bring that um, down a bit there. Okay, so there, see that um, in statement there. I uh, wonder what that's complaining about. Select is not valid. Oh, have I not closed my parentheses? Yes, no, I haven't. There we go. Um, yeah, so, yes, so make sure you're uh, closing your parentheses. Of course, uh, the great thing about the workbench is that uh, you can just highlight the um, highlight the uh, bracket and it will tell you, show you the closing bracket there. Anyway, so select first name, comma, second name from parent info where parent ID in select parent ID from student info where second name equals Adair. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to have a look at the student info table before we um, run the... Uh, script the script here um, and we're going to ask ourselves what is this going to be returning what is this sub query going to be returning so it's going to select parent ID from student info where second name equals Adair so parent ID uh, second name Adair so that's going to return two and two so even if the um, parent ID even if the um, the rows are the same, the returned, um, the result set rows are all the same. You still need to use the word in um, if you have multiple uh, rows returned, even if they're the same value. It doesn't merge the two into one. Um, so that's that's the key, key aspect of the in parameter there. So remember in, iterate through, result set. So we click run we can see Olivia there is returned. So the last bit I'm gonna go and cover here today is called, um, what, what I've called sub sub queries. I haven't found the uh, proper word for them, but essentially you can keep making sub queries, you can keep making uh, sub queries into sub, sub queries in sub queries, et cetera, et cetera, um, resulting in a high degree of specificity. So, um yes yeah, so you can continue to do them as much as you as as long as it's uh, feasible um so anyway write a query to display this is the next last question here so write a query to display the department of the teacher which teaches the student whose parent is called Michael Ranton so this time we're going to be using all three tables we're going to be referring to all three tables in order to um uh solve this question so um, I, of course, start from the start. Um, write your main query first. So write a query to display the department of the teacher. So we're referring to the teacher info table. Um, okay, so as you can see, we've got um, our, teacher inf our teacher table here. Um, and uh, we're going to do select department from teacher info where, okay? So, where, where teacher ID equals, right, so, there is our um, main query here. So that's going to um, grab us the, 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 the department, um, of the teacher that results from the uh, uh, the subqueries that are, that will follow. So um, we're going to do the next part of the uh, query, which is the um, the part where we reference um, the students who are taught by the teacher. So select teacher ID from student info where parent ID okay so um, in this statement we're referencing um, the student info table and we're saying okay we want the teacher ID of the student whose parent ID equals 
and then we're gonna open another um, another um, sub query here. So let me just press enter there so it doesn't go off the screen here. Um, so um, where select I mean sorry where um, where parent ID yes that's right yes where parent ID equals select parent ID from parent info where first name equals um, Michael Oh, and it's going off the going off the uh, thing here. I wonder if I can, yeah, make it a bit. Um, there we go. Okay, where Michael first name equals Michael, and second name equals Renton. Okay, and then we're gonna have to close all of our brackets there okay so I've sort of broken up the query into three parts the main the main query the subquery and the subquery query of the subquery here okay so I'll read the question again this is a bit complicated here so write a query to display the, the department of the teacher so that's this first bit so we've got that um, which teaches the student, which is this bit, which teaches the student whose parent is called Michael Renton, which is that last bit there. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and we're going to work out um, what the answer will be before we run the query just to show that it's a logical um, system um, logical uh, method so we go from the back here and we're going to look at Michael Ranton so Michael Ranton is here and he has a parent ID of 4 so we go and refer to the student info table so the 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 second subquery, if you um, has now got four, so it's looking da -da 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 -da, parent in parent ID. So it's four, so it's going to look at this, and it's going to look for the. If we look at it, look at the query again. We've got uh, four. And now we're going to look for the teacher ID because we're in the student info table. We're going to look for the teacher ID where the parent ID equals four. So that's going to be two. And then finally, we're going to um, go to the uh, teacher info table with our two that we've got from this uh, subquery. Um, okay. And we're going to find um, the teacher ID of two and we're going to return the, the, the department to which the um, teacher teaches in and that department is English Lit. So that whole query which has referenced all three tables in the um, in the uh, database is going to return English Literature. So when we run this it returns English Literature. So that's the power of um, uh, subqueries that can give you that. That query there is very specific to um, uh, the situation. So that is how you use um, subqueries and a bit beyond that in how to go on to sub subqueries, as I call them. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.